Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprix here. Today, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install and set up the brand new update of official Citra Android. I'll be showing you guys the best settings as well, and we have amazing features. First of all, the official Citra emulator available on Play Store is outdated. The brand new update is not available here. As you can see right here, the last update was on 8 May 2021. So, to discuss with two types of build one is nightly build, and one is canary build. So, if you want me to take a look at Citra Android canary build, then let's hit 250 likes on today's video. But, anyways, you can see up the citra android by selecting the game directory and let's go to settings now let's check out if there are any brand new settings i know one confirmed feature that now you can add cheat codes in official citra android which i'll show you how to do that later on but i'll just go ahead and disable speed limit and uh, select speed limit percentage to 200 and afterwards we'll go to system there is nothing really new in system let's go to graphics Internal resolution, I'll select it as 4x, but if you have a low-end device, keep the internal resolution to 1x, disable linear filtering, but I have a high-end device, so I'll enable linear filtering as well as accurate shader multiplication, as uh, it will basically make sure that I don't face any texture glitches while playing games. I'll disable audio stretching because it's not a useful feature, but anyways, once that has been done, let's just go ahead and open Pokemon X, and I'll just go ahead and click on Don't Allow. Now, to access additional features in official Citra Android, we'll need to click back and click on the three dots at the top you'll be able to see these options let me just go ahead and select single screen so that i can get an immersive gameplay experience while emulating 3ds games and you will see other uh, settings like you can save game and if we just go ahead and scroll down you'll see the brand new settings of opening cheats so here you'll be able to add cheats while playing any game in citra official citra android you can type in the name and cheat code and then just go ahead and click on ok you'll need to uh, take the cheat code and it will be activated so you can find cheat codes for game which you want to play on uh, google as you know the only setback of official citra android was that it didn't have cheat code option before but now you will clearly able to see that uh, we can now add cheat codes and at the top left corner you will be able to see the fps of your game after enabling the show fps option now as you can see i am getting straight up 100 fps at this cutscene which is temporary it will go down uh, but let me tell you guys the device which i am using uh, so for recording this video i am using samsung tab asset which has snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor along with 8 gb of ram so it is pretty high end, uh, which is to be expected from the most powerful Android tablet of 2022, early 2022. Uh, but here you can see we can get to uh, choose our character. I'll just go ahead and skip the character selection and let's go to the world of Pokemon. Now, as I was saying, on low end devices, you will still get good FPS. I guess the Mali GPU issues may have been fixed now, so you can definitely try out uh, Pokemon X or any uh, 3DS game. Uh, through official Citra Android's latest update on your Exynos MediaTek or Kirin processor devices and let me know in the comment section down below if it's better than uh, the Citra MMJ if you want I can do a comparison on low end device as well testing out official Citra Android versus Citra MMJ to check out which is the best 3D simulator currently because uh, I didn't check out the official Citra Android as it didn't receive uh, any updates on Play Store before but now we'll need to just sideload the updates from the Citra emulator website uh, which is possible but at the top left corner again you'll see that we are getting more than 60 fps because we have disabled the speed limit uh, in general i don't recommend you guys disable the speed limit option instead instead just increase the speed limit percentage to 200 which makes sure that you will get around 60 fps it won't be capped to 30 fps while playing any uh, 3ds game but again as soon as we leave the house you'll see a small drop in fps around 20 fps uh, are decrease now so we are only getting 50 fps now at the moment 48 fps 50 fps all right uh, it's surely playable but don't forget that i am running uh, pokemon x at 4x internal resolution which is truly high along with accurate shader multiplication which is more uh, resource consuming so yeah customize the settings according to your device and enjoy the brand new update of official citra android goodbye